Welcome to today's episode of Next Gen AI at Harvey Norman, Change the Way We Work, Create and Play, where we invite guests from renowned tech companies to join us to share more insights on AI technology. I'm Bernice Kwok, Managing Director of Harvey Norman, and today's topic is AI in Education and Research. And we have with us today, Ms. Chia Li Shi of ASA. Thank you, Bernice. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here today. I'm Li Shi, Managing Director of ASA Computer Singapore. I manage both the consumer and commercial sections in Singapore itself. So good to be here to share my insights on education and how AI can push it forward. So Li Shi, perhaps you would like to share with us, how is ASA Swift Copilot Plus PC helping researchers? Oh yes, as we all may know, researchers actually spend a substantial amount of time on literature reviews. They go through papers and papers of related works. So all these are very time consuming. So what researchers can do with the Acer Swift 14 AI PC is to make use of the Copilot that's already integrated in the Windows operating system. Mm. So Copilot in Windows are able to provide researchers a form of summarization tool. So all these loads and loads of papers get summarized right, within a very short time. And this means that the researchers are able to make use of the extra time that they have gained on other things. Like for example, an you know, in-depth analysis of the data, refining their hypothesis, and of course, finding more data sets to look through and refine their workflow. Mm. Definitely, I will see Copilot in Windows as a very good inspiration starter for them as well. Copilot can provide inspirations on how to start your report writing, which is a chore at times. It's, it gets very difficult to start off something and this co-pilot will give you suggestions on how to start your report, on how to organize your thoughts better, and in short, really re polishes up an entire report in a very short period of time. With co-pilot in Windows, what you can expect is an on-device AI support. So this means that it removes the need and the reliance of an internet connection and brings the researcher on-device help right, to run through whatever papers that they have on their devices and allow them to use their productivity gains on other areas. Hmm, how I wish that when we were students, mm. we have access to such Copilot Plus PC then. That's going to help us so much more, isn't yes, it? Yes, I will say that I will maybe finish my work in 30 minutes and then I'll be able to sleep for the rest of the day. Lisha, what about battery mm. management, right? So today's students, they are always on the go, especially mm. tertiary students, you know, um, going from lecture theatre to lecture theatre and, and, and doing their work um, in cafes, mm. right? So battery management becomes very important to them and if there's a lot of AI happening in whatever that they are doing, mm. um, will Asus PC be able to, to solve the problem of having short battery life? So we have taken that into consideration and, and have implemented the Acer Sense, which is a suite right, of AI-powered features. So within itself, there is an intelligent battery manager mm -hmm. that adopts accordingly to how the user is managing their laptop. Say for example, over a period of time, we have learned that the user um, gets about six hours of study time and six hours of idle time all right, for their own PCs. During the period that the user is idle, we can actually intelligently adjust from the back end right, some of the brightness as well as the activity level of the processing so that we can tone it down, give the system a rest and have the system rest so they can go for a longer period of time. So this might explain also why most of the co-pilot PCs have long battery life, as high as 26 hours. Hmm. Now let's talk about online learning. Hmm. How is AI transforming the way um, students learn online with ASUS technology? Actually, online learning is a new to us. I think we had a few years of home-based learning, but I think maybe that happens in a flash that none of us want to remember. Okay, so right now, online learning with AI assistant means more things. It means a greater level of effectiveness between the students as well as the teachers. So what students can do when they're attending an online lessons, for example, is to turn on live captions. Right? So as the teachers go on with their lesson contents, students can get the live captions there and thereby you know, increasing their comprehension level on the subject matter itself. And of course, if the students find that there are, there are areas of difficulties where they are having, 
complications or difficulty in understanding a certain concept, the co-piloting windows are also able right, to provide suggested supplementary resources to the student so that the students can conduct self-study after that and allow the students to go on and revise on a self-sustainable schedule afterwards. And in the case of international students, they can turn on live captions with real-time translations. So this enables the student to knock down any language barriers mm. and of course, smoothen their learning curve in a foreign land. So this feature itself will greatly enhance the learning experience of any students, right, be it local or international. Uh, with so much happening on the computer itself, where the student is on Teams or Zoom, and at the same time, um, having the live caption and probably taking some notes. Mm. Wouldn't the computer slow down? I think that's a very good question because I think we have taken that into consideration when we were designing the machines. Mm. So what happens now with all the AI and co-pilot PCs is that there is another component, right? Apart from the usual CPU that we have, we do have this new unit, right? That's called NPU. So that's a neural processing unit. So this NPU itself will take care of all the AI processing in the background. So it's like the AI brain of the entire machine. Mm. If, if you have live captions on it, it will be doing it and the CPU will not be infringing on it. So in a sense, whatever other background applications you might have, it's all taken care of by the CPU and leaving the NPU on its own to manage the AI operations. So you can have the best of both worlds, have the cake and eat it. So let's talk about innovation. How is AI driving possibilities in education and research? So AI itself allows us to be able to create a more personalised as well as inclusive learning for everyone, everywhere. Mm -hmm. So take for instance, we do have this particular utility called the Acer Sense, which is a suite of AI-powered features incorporated in every of the co-pilot PCs. So this Acer Sense takes into consideration the user's environments and they'll make adjustments to the microphone and speaker settings during a video conference so that we can ensure that you have a very clear communication right, channel even in noisy environments. AcerSense itself will also incorporate it, right, this intelligent battery manager that allows it to study the student's typical workload and adjust the power settings accordingly, switching between power saving mode and performance modes. How does Acer address the challenges that comes with responsible AI use? So in Acer, we emphasize a lot on the importance of protecting user data. We do definitely prioritize privacy. Mm -hmm. So we try to ensure that any data that's collected for enhancing the user's experience is handled securely and complies with data protection regulations. We are also aware of the risk of biases in AI algorithms. And the team is always working hard to ensure that whatever AI models that we use promotes fairness and inclusivity. Thank you, Li Shi, for spending time with us today and sharing valuable insights on how AI is transforming education and research and how students, educators and researchers actually can make use of AI to make work much easier and efficient. Any final thoughts you would like to share with us? Thank you, Bernice. Thanks so much for this opportunity for us to be present in this show with you. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to be here to share with everyone on how educators and students can benefit from ACES range of Swift 14 AI PCs. Check out ACES full range of laptops and desktops in the Harvey Norman stores. See you in the stores. Thank you, Li Shi, for taking time to be with us today. If you're curious to find out more about AI PC, do drop by any of our Harvey Norman store and talk to our Next Gen AI experts. Stay tuned to the next episode of Next Gen AI at Harvey Norman. Change the way we work, create and play. Until next time, embrace AI and keep innovating.